Hi, uh, this is Noit, and I want to show a lot of something I used um, for my uh, PHP Sprout project. It used it's kind of a jQuery widget that shows uh, the number of stars that you want to select in an application such as a recommendation site, which is what I did. So, for example, um, I go into my site, my project for this course uh, here. And say I choose to add so like a comment to this book, and I'm already logged into my system. And I see that I can uh, you know, choose the number of stars I want to. Uh, like let's say I want to read four stars. Say what a great book. Use it to recommend, and it recommend four stars and I could potentially say no it wasn't. Even though it was. But the point is that I was using this um, this system, this widget, to choose the stars and that's kind of what I want to show you. So I'm gonna do it uh, without the, the whole PHP and the rest of the system around it. I'm just going to start with um, with an empty page that only has the form in it. So this is the form before I applied anything to it. It's just a selection box with 1 to 5 and a box for text and button that will not work right now because it's not PHP um, enabled. Right, this for a second. Show you the code just for that part. So the beginning is pretty standard. We we see the title, the, the some style sheets that I copied here to my desktop. This is, this is the style sheets here. Um, some text that they just uh, pretended to get from the database, but in this case, I just uh, typed it right in. And this is the form that we are looking at. Uh, the form has some hidden values that I'm not going to get into, and it has uh, a label that starts that has that uh, star rate ranking. This, this label here, and then there's the selection. It has a name called uh, the name is star rank, and it has values from one to five. And the rest is pretty regular, so what you would see in a form like this. So I'm going to start um, putting some jQuery in this. And the first thing I want to do is I want to copy in the link that attaches. This is the link to the actual jQuery library. We always have to include it in the header part. See? In any case, one of my mini cutted pates. And the second thing I want to do is I want to add this piece, piece of script that we always have when we do anything with jQuery that just has a call for the document ready function. And it starts it and it closes it. And there's nothing in it quite yet, but this is where this is what we always have to put whenever we deal with jQuery. The next thing I want to do actually is to just hide that um, selection options. So I'm going to move this, add some spaces. So I'm calling this um, div that I gave the ID star rank. I'm not calling this select button, I'm not using the name, I'm using the, the div, the ID. And I'm calling uh, dollar sign. And inside the parentheses in the quotation marks, the hashtag star rank and the select in it. That's where there's a space here, and I say hi. If I save this, 
we no longer see the, the selection um, option. I'm not removing it from the actual text because I'm going to use it when I post the form to PHP, but I don't want to see it quite now. What I do want to see is some kind of a um, I'm going to actually use something called a sprite image for the for the stars. So sprite images are actually uh, when you take a few usually icons or images that will go little parts of them are going to go in different part, parts of the page and you put them all in one uh, big image file and um, in this case this is one file that has one star, two star, three star, four star, five star but every time you will only see a part of this image and seeing a part of this image is going to be done uh, with CSS. And this is actually something that uh, is quite common because it saves uh, this, the browser a lot of fetching of images, can save on uh, upload time, and you can always know that all of your images, at least for the icons, are um, fetched at the same time. So there's a lot of advantages to this. And I actually created it with Illustrator, um, but that's not why I'm opening it now. I just want to show you how I calculated some of the numbers that you're going to see from now on. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm calling this div called star rank. Previously, I had a select in it, but now, now it's hidden. And I'm setting some CSS attributes. I'm setting the height to be 29 pixels. I'm setting the background image to be URL images star PNG, which is the image I just opened. I'm sending I'm setting the background to be background repeat to be no repeat. And I'm setting background position to be the really odd zero pixels and minus one twenty-nine pixels. So I'm gonna show you how I got to these numbers. <laughs> 